let me say this. Living for God is pretty difficult. And whoever says that it is not difficult, you are not telling the truth. So what people do, since they may not be able to stop sinning persistently, what they do, they make excuses for their sin. They may say that, hey, God knows my heart. Yes, he does. <laughs> Let's go to Jeremiah 17 and 9. Let's scroll on down. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So this is saying, yes, God does know your heart. It is deceitfully or deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So God does know your heart that it is this. You see, let me say this. And stop making excuses for your sin and deal with what you are doing wrong. Now, there are people who may comment to me or tell me that, hey, they have a problem with masturbation and porn. I can understand that. Now, masturbation and porn is not your issue per se. It is the things that are leading you to it. Like when you go out, whether you are a man or a woman, do you go out and when you see a pretty woman or a handsome guy, do you stare at them in a sexual way? What type of music are you listening to? What type of TV series or TV shows you are listening to? What type of friends are you hanging around with? Those things can lead you toward sin. I pray that makes sense. So when you are listening to love music that talks about sex and stuff like that, if you are looking at TV series that is showing you kissing and sex and stuff like that, if you are hanging around friends and they are speaking about sex and masturbation and porn and stuff like that, no wonder you are being led toward that. Whatever you, whatever you entertain yourself with, it is going to become a part of you. It is going to lead you down that path. So masturbation and porn is not your problem per se. It is the things that are leading you to it. Like people who drink alcohol that get really, really drunk. Give me a second, please. People who get really, really drunk. Now, back when I was younger, I used to think that, you know, getting drunk was cool or whatever else, but <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I hated the feeling of getting drunk. Like, I would get really sick and the next morning I could hardly move and headaches and stuff like that. And I am puking. I am like, hey, let me stop this. But anyways, people who get drunk. Drinking, per se, is not your problem. It is the things that are leading you to drink. Hey, perhaps when you were younger, your mom and dad abused you or did some mean things to you. Perhaps you got molested when you was younger. Perhaps, you know, somebody may have done you wrong, so it is leading you to get high and drunk and stuff like that. So what you are doing, the sin that you are doing, is not the issue per se, but it is the things that are leading you to it. 
So you can't say that you can't stop getting drunk. You can't stop watching porn. You can't stop masturbating. What you can do is stop doing things that are leading you to it. You can stop those things, right? You don't have to watch TV. You don't have to listen to all of this crazy music. You don't have to hang around your friends and stuff like that. Once you do things that is not going to lead you to those sins, not doing those sins is going to be much easier. So you don't have to make excuses saying, well, God knows my heart, <laughs> because he does. <laughs> it is deceitful, deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So God does know your heart. Changing is not that hard. It is up to you on what you want to do, really. Everything pretty much takes effort. God bless.